Good morning. I am very happy to be here. I appreciate the invitation of Irina. I think it's a very interesting uh, approach about the um, struggles against, against the extractivism in the 20, uh, 21 century. I want to speak about a uh, research that I, uh, that I just started uh, with my experience of historicism and activism. And, as, and as they say, uh, I will present a little presentation that I have. Let me know how. Well, I named this uh, work Political Imagination and Perspectivism Practices in the Extractivism Struggles for the Equatorian Amazon. Well, uh, my starting point uh, in this presentation is the, ex the existence of political language that I have called for this work perspectivism. It means that for the indigenous people in America, according to the anthropologist Viverius de Castro, has a way of seeing the world that, they, that he calls a perspectivist cosmogonies. And it means, it means that the indigenous people in the thinking of it, indigenous people doesn't exist the figure of otherness. Uh, we are all beings, not only human beings, but also beings. And we all in the world have a point of view. And this is like a rational quality of beings, but not only the human beings. Uh, and that's a very important uh, starting point because uh, the, dis uh, the, discourse, the discursive constructions between us and the others is a rhetorical figure that funded the political and philosophical conscience of Western society. And it expresses in a language dichotomies without which it would but not be possible to think about the hierarchical system as a racial system, as a knowledge system, and other kinds of uh, political implications. In order to develop my argument, I want to start with a small exercise of observing the fierce images that circulate in the connected world uh, since 16th century in Europe about the Masonia. Well, uh, these, uh, these images is on where for, were made for the Theodoro de Brie. And these uh, images circulated by all the connected world in the 16th century. And they are very important even now because they were the fierce images that the European culture know about the Amazonian. I want to speak a little uh, of one of these, of each of one of these. In the first one, we have the Amazon women, uh, uh, the Amazon women. And as we see, uh, she's a warrior and she has in her hand a head of man. No? I think that it's a very important imaginary about the, Amaz the Amazon. Uh, first, because the obviously name of Amazon. Uh, second, because the legend or myth of Amazon, it's a very important taboo or tradition in Western uh, culture. And uh, because of that, the Amazon was presented to the Western society as something um, similar or as something that they can know about it. Well, in the second imagine, we see um, a scene of cannibalism. <laughs> you know? I think that it's a very important, uh, this symbol in the Amazon representation, because as you know, the cannibalism is one of the most important Western taboos. And I think that it was uh, important in order to 
justifique the uh, intervention of Western in the Amazon rainforest. And as you see, the people who are uh, eating the, the human beings is a woman, it's a woman, a woman, a group of women. And it's very important because we will start to see how the Western thinking always is uh, speaking about the nature of the woman as a similar thing an irrational thing and this kind of qualities uh, where we see the dualities that I start to speak in the beginning of this presentation. In the last uh, one imagine is a fragment of a representation. It's a map, a literal map. But I put here because I think it's very interesting the things that we can see. As you see, you can see a lion, um, a kind of animals that doesn't exist in the Amazon. But I think that was very important that uh, these kind of animals could exist in this territory because imagine the difficulty to represent a place that they uh, don't know, yeah? And the map is interesting too, because it's a form to, simplifi to simplify the, um, the complexity of Amazon. You can see only a few animals, you know? And you can see again the warrior woman and the man without head. Yeah, so this kind of representation is important because I say that in this kind of representation, we will see the invention of the modern idea of Amazonia. That is not only an idea who is important in the Amazon's countries, but also I think is important in the Western and the global imaginary. And I want to present this another uh, imagine that if you see is the same imagine of Teodoro de Brie, but the Hollywood uh, production of the so modern um, representation of Amazonia and the name is the Holocausto Cannibal, Holocaust Cannibal, no? It continue appealing our imaginary of politics and this film uh, was 10 years ago and it has a lot of uh, remakes, uh, Cannibal Holocaust 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6, yeah? Uh, so I, I would think it's important to speak about the imaginary in this sense and the vigency uh, of this kind of representation of Amazonia. Well, with this exercise, I want to present the second part of my participation that I named the colonize the look, yeah. Um, when I speak about to the colonizes the, the look, I, I refer the last, um, the last imagine that I presented, because I think that we continue, even if we are of America Latina, that is me, my, my case, we continue aborting in the discourses, the otherness of nature and the territories of the people and the, maybe the one of the first steps in order to decolonize the view is to desnaturalize uh, this, um, uh, sorry, this, um, this imagines. Well, for this exercise, I will talk about uh, important theoretical of the imagine of America Latina whose name is uh, Silvia Rivera Cusicanqui. She's a um, Bolivian sociologist 
And well, she say that it's important to analyze the collective imaginaries through the magic because we have to identify the hierarchic order of the world in these images that are constantly circling in the world. Uh, I will, no, I will uh, present that. Uh, she says that the colonization of the look consists in freeing the visualization uh, from the taste language and inputting the memory of the experience and insoluble hold in which the bodily and mental sense merge. It will, it will be, be a kind of memory of doing which uh, Heidegger will say it's about all. We have three ways in order to decolonize the imagine uh, that Sylvia mentions. The fear is an, a predominant strat, strategy of narration of actions. And it refers principally to the form that indigenous people build her narrative of history, as you know, uh, oral history. And that is not only an accidental issue, but now we have to start to consider it a legitimate form to, um, to speak and, and build history. The second is to do emphasis in metonymic uh, aspects as visual images, color, roots, and the history of sense, as she said. So, so when we are speaking about history and memory, we have an emotional approach to these discourses and they are important uh, to start exploring how to express in order to express a, a more complex history of indigenous people. E, well, the, the, sec the last one is the kinestic um, the kinetic sense of this kind of history, that it's the capacity to connect our sense and feelings with these kinds of history. Well, and now with this starting point, I want to speak of um, indigenous population specific, whose name is Sarah Yacoub. I, I will talk about a little about his about their history, but I think it's important in order to understand what I want to say. They are a small village that in the last uh, in the in the last decades they have fight against the oil extraction in their territory, and it was become a very important struggles about the oil extraction. And now they are like a symbol of uh, well living or, or buen vivir, as they say, because they really um, win the fight and the, the national state of Ecuador have to recognize the right of them to live as they want. Yeah. And they now have an important spaces to, to present their proposals that are a political criticism for the capitalism developed, but also it's an important space to disseminate this kind of perspectivism ideas. Um, I want to present this video because in this video they analyze, uh, they explain what it means of causa y sacha, who literally means the selva viviente, and I say that is a complex, um, a complex, a complex theoretical construction of political language. I will present this. Let me see how can I do. Causa Sacha Tachini. Sacha. Sacha. Causa Sacha Gangi. 
Wakunata chari, amaru, umaguna, supa y gunata chari, urkutin tilguna y pacha, chimanda gam, pishkuguna, bali gruyaguna, asha y pia, y asha kai, kai, kai sarayakuyakta y causa kuna. Y mangata causa sachata y asara eco de jarca. Con baby. Cuti pay manawa lirichu ni se echa na amarunguna tachariki. Chiwami causa sachata. Asachaga. Ali tarikuriu y chiguna ilapiga. Chiguna chiguna ilapiga. Asachaga o liringa. Kahna yakta tuku sharinga chiguna wanipi. Con agua de jeringa sacha, contamina a su guna. Tu cuiro na guna wa yo ya ita, manso yo ya y malla, la ki yo ya y malla mía, volta chicha, puri guarmi mi anilla. Causa sacha, taga, porque tu cuiro ya guna mi causa ganao, chiraigo mi. Causa xacha, se xacha, causa xacha, o cutaga, runa tiaunchi. Una cara en parte, mana sara y aculei, tuco y parte, sapara parte, chuara parte, chuara parte, ni a tuco y parte también, causa xacha, tagachari no. Runa warmi, shinari, curi, yami, puri, junia, kangunaga. Así, así la pinga, pinga la mi manso, manso la mi rico anguichi, cango na wa ñavi, mana rona war mi chami. I only want to finish with uh, three, three things of this film. Uh, the first one is when the, the girls say, uh, when, when, when the film starts and they say, which means causa y sacha, and she say, causa y sacha, it's the animals, the tiger, the spirits, the mountains, the rivers, etc. And I think that in this, uh, in this discourse, we can to identify the perspectivism. So we are all, doesn't exist the otherness, the absolute otherness that is the nature in the Western culture. The second one, uh, she say, we, def we defend the rainforest because if the rainforest uh, doesn't exist, so we don't exist, yeah? And I think that it's a qualitative part important to understand why these discourses are important, not only because of the climate change for all the world, but also because it's a complex cosmogony that could permit to us ima uh, imagine another kind of relationship with the nature and intersubjective relationship. And the third, uh, the third last one is the voice of the girl, no? And it's only a little show, but I think that one of the important issues of the political discourses and practices of the um, Amazonian rainforest leaders now is the diversity of voices. Many people can speak about it, not only the experts, the experts one of the uh, formal uh, politics. Yeah. Well, I will finish with this and thank you for your.